Yo guys, Jonathan here. This past week, I teamed up with LG Display, who sponsored a trip out to Comic-Con, which was incredible. Got to see some amazing costumes, Ant-Man, the new Joker, and the goat, Jack. It was my first time, a ton of fun, and on top of that, the Mad Lads over at LG teamed up with Best Buy and rolled up in a freaking semi-truck trailer packed full of OLED TVs, which included a freaking transparent OLED TV, which I had never seen before up close. It felt like something straight out of Back to the Future. Clearly, you're not gonna go into a store and grab one of these today, but the idea of what it could lead to is really freaking cool. Imagine that in a car, where it's gonna display your speed or directions or in a medical situation. It kinda goes back to that notion of we live in this amazing time with technology and it's only gonna get better. So yeah, transparent TV, super cool. That's amazing tech, but it wouldn't be possible without OLED. It's kind of crazy to think how far display tech has come, especially when you go back to something like CRT, which I'm sure many of you out there have never experienced. But for me, that was my childhood. CRT TV, Sega Genesis, you plugged in the red, white, and yellow. There was no HDMI. And now it's pretty much either LCD or OLED, rest in peace plasma. So with LCDs, there are just more pieces to the puzzle when it comes to a TV. It starts with a series of backlit LEDs that is then passed through a handful of different elements, everything from diffusion to reflection, whereas with OLED, it is one single panel. Now immediately, one of the biggest differences you'll see with OLED versus LCD are not only more vibrant colors, but also much deeper blacks. So with the 4K OLED panel, there are over eight million pixels, but what's cool is each of those eight million pixels are individually powered and lit. So if you're watching a movie or a video with a dark scene, all that black, instead of seeing light like you would on an LCD panel, those just shut off and that results in those beautiful deep OLED blacks. Now LG, they are pretty confident in their displays. Inside the truck, they had one of their 4K OLED panels stacked side by side against an 8K LCD. For me, coming from the video world, I get that. It's almost like airy versus red. Not to say that resolution isn't important, but I will take image quality all day, every day. Side by side, especially in these dark scenes, you can see LCD really start to fall apart with the OLED panel and those stars. It is just stars plus black. And with LCD, it's like stars plus kind of black and washed out light. Now beyond those colors and those blacks, you also get much better viewing angles with OLED, but going back to the fact that again, it is a single panel that leads to some really cool options. Now beyond those colors and those blacks, you get much better viewing angles with OLED, but going back to the fact that again, it is just one single panel that allows you to do some really cool things. Also, LG displays are so good that they don't only go inside LG TVs, and in this case, it's actually what's used for the Sony A9G. Beyond the actual image quality, with the simplicity of OLED, what that allows Sony to do is cram some really amazing speakers inside the TV, and yes, that image is beautiful, but I was shocked with how good that TV sounded. Like I've never heard low end like that out of a TV without a sound system. That of course also leads to the ability to make something like a wallpaper TV and this is five millimeters thin. Think about that, wrap your brain around how thin that is. And for me, I just keep going back to that thick CRT TV, which honestly, for the first time ever might be five C's thick. Now from there, something that I had no idea or didn't realize is there are less blue light emissions with OLED versus LCD. Like a crap load less, so that of course is gonna be better for your eyes, for your health, and I know you're not supposed to be using electronics before bed, but if you're watching TV on OLED, you're gonna sleep a little better at night. So it's one thing to see this through video, but if you can, check it out in person, and I'll drop the details to the OLED tour down below. The tour is gonna hit 11 states, 26 cities, this is a drawing to win a brand new OLED TV and a chance to get 10% back if you pick one up at Best Buy. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jonathan, and I'll catch you guys later.